this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the text tool and what we can do with that. So here's our nice image of the lake. I've got rid of the background for using the magic eraser tool and I've put a nice purple sky behind it. First of all, I am going to link these two layers together by going on to merge layers. Once my layers are merged, I'm going to go up to here, grab my marquee tool, drag it across, right click, select inverse, delete. And then with that, I'm going to drag it up slightly. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to go to my text tool. Yep, horizontal text tool. I'm going to write visit us here. And then it's really small at the moment. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Maybe a bit bigger than that. So maybe 200. Yep, and then in order to change your font, okay, so the one I usually go to is Roboto, and then from there, I can then change that from bold to medium, I can change the edges to sharp. And then I can change the colour to, for this one, I'm going to change the colour to the colour of the sky. So all I need to do is I drop that colour on, go back onto my text. So in order to edit your text again, just click back on the text tool, click onto your text, highlight it, and you can edit it however you like. Okay, so I've chosen the colour of the sky for the colour of my text and now I can move it around by clicking on the move tool at the top and then once again if I want to edit it just click back on the text tool and edit it. The reason that you can do this is if you look on the layer panel you'll see that the layer has a T on it, that means that it's still a text layer. If you then converted that into a smart object you will no longer be able to edit it as text. If you try to do so, it would just make another text layer above it. So let's undo that, go back to where we were. It'd be helpful if I just had my history panel up because that way I can just jump back. Okay, so once I've got that, you then want to add some blending options to it. So I go to my blending options again and I can go into stroke. Maybe not that colour. Let's go for a nice pink now, maybe purple. Let's see what we can get. There we go, okay. It's a bit big for me that one, so maybe we can lower that one down. There we are change that depending on how I want it to look and then I can have oh we don't want them yet we can have a shadow beneath it if we want to so about there a little bit closer actually there we go, and we've got a nice shadow below our text now. And you can play around with how you want it. I'm happy with how mine is, so I'm not going to change it, but if you wanted to, you can have a look through your options and see what you like best. Okay. What about an outer glow? If you want an outer glow, once again, play around with that. Can you see on the side here how it's changing? And that also goes with the colour. Pinky colour. There we go. So there are lots of different things that you can do to your text. Okay. 
and you can turn all the effects off and see what it looked like before. So, before, after. Have a go and see what you can create.